Hey everybody, welcome back to my Bake Like a Pro YouTube channel. We're going to do a really fun one today. We're going to be using some dark tempered chocolate, some crushed peanuts, which I just ground a few minutes ago, and our last thing, some little Rice Krispie squares that I have just cut in half. I'm just going to turn on my little chocolate tempering machine here. So this machine that I'm using here is a chocolate tempering machine and it is made by ChocoVision. This model here is more for the homeowner and it's the Revelation 2B. It's a really nice size if you're working at home. Alright, that's good. I'm just going to give it a little stir here. I've got a little bowl and I'm just going to fill this up. I've said this before, if you want to see this machine, an unboxing and a review and how to temper chocolate with it, I do have a few videos on that. Yeah, a little bit more. I want to make sure that I can get in there properly. A little more. Okay, that's good. So, peanuts. I'm not going to measure this out, I'm just doing this by eye. And I'll give it a little bit of a stir. You're going to see the final product. It's pretty cool. So stir it around, make sure everything is well incorporated. I'm going to add a few more. Maybe that's good. video is going to be a little bit longer. I did I did want to let you see what I was doing here. While you're doing this, if you are using tempered chocolate and your chocolate starts getting a little bit on the thick side, just get out get out a hair dryer and just hit it with the hair dryer. I'll show you what these look like before I cut them. So you can see I just cut these in half. Okay, so there we have them. And then super simple. Just get a fork right in there and then just dip right in. And then a little bit of a shake. You can tap it if you wish. That's good. right onto some silicone and then if you see any little opening there from the fork just go over it like that perfect let's do another one so you can see how the peanuts adhere really nicely they do a really nice job we'll do a little bit of a top you can cut this into any shape If you don't want to go up way, you can just do sideways as well. And just like that. Perfect. And if you find that one fork is not enough, you can go in with two forks. And that will give you a little bit more stability. Like that. And then pull it off. So just like that. Nice. And then our last one. And don't let the simplicity of this little recipe slash tutorial fool you. These are really, really good. Right onto our silicone mat, and that's perfect. Let's just zoom in a little bit so I can show you these a lot closer up. 
now that I've zoomed in, hopefully you can see how nice these are. So at this point right now, I am just going to let these set up. So I'm not even going to touch them. I'm going to let them set up naturally. I'm not putting them in the fridge. I'm just going to leave them here and I'll come back in a little while when they have all firmed up. So this is about one hour later and you can see my chocolate has nicely set up. And I'll just lift it right off here. Look at that. A really nice tempering job on that chocolate. And look at these. Ooh, they look nice. So let's get one on the camera right here and then let's cut into it. Listen. Chocolate is nice and firm and crisp. Look at that. Mm -mm. Looks like a little coffee crisp almost inside. Look at this. Oh, that looks so good. These are so easy. You're going to wonder how you have not making, been making these before. Really, really fun to make. Super easy. Look at that. Of course, I'm going to have to go in for a little bite. Mmm. Yum. Mm, these are really, really good. I can't tell you how good these are. I hope you try these out. That's it for this really fast, fun tutorial. If you enjoyed my video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you wish. And if you're on Facebook, you can check me out at facebook.com slash bakelikeapro or just type in Bake Like a Pro in the search area and you should find me. So that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed my video and I'll catch you on the next one. Mmm, that is good.